Are legal immigration cases going to go faster or slower under Donald Trump? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, DC. In this video, we're gonna talk about what happens immigration-wise after January 20th. So the new president-elect, President Trump, will take office again in the United States on January 20th, 2025. And everybody is calling me, asking me, emailing me, texting me, wanting to know, Jim, is my case going to go faster or slower under Donald Trump? And I'm really a little bit surprised by the question. Uh, a lot of people seem to be surprised to learn that Donald Trump is concerned not only with illegal immigration, but legal immigration as well. You have to understand that during the first Trump presidency, cases that used to take three, four, five, six months ballooned to 18 months, 24 months, 36 months. Cases that we would file to try to get a spouse here from overseas used to take six to 12 months. Now you're talking two years, two and a half years. And of course, Joe Biden, Alejandro Mayorkas, and Anthony Blinken did nothing, nothing over the last four years to try to make those cases go faster. I mean, nothing. So now you have the four years of slowdown under Trump where he gutted the State Department, where he tried to take resources out of USCIS and use it for fraud detection, denaturalization, even building his stupid wall down in Mexico. These are the kinds of things that he did last time and it led to monumental slowdowns. The deportation courts are backlogged, the immigration uh, offices are backlogged, the State Department is not processing visas. So the idea that anything is going to improve, that anything is going to go faster between 2025 and 2029, the next four years of the Trump presidency, it's never going to happen. They are simply going to slow down the entire process. The amazing thing is they want to speed up deportations and slow down regular processing by legal immigrants, people who have every right to file for an immigration benefit. So if you have an asylum case, if you have a citizenship case, if you have an I-130 petition for a family member overseas, these are, these are going to all slow down. That's before they even start to try to tinker with the law to actually change our immigration laws here in the United States. They can just work within the system that they have to slow things down. What does that look like? Well, it means extra scrutiny. They wanna have a fraud officer review every case looking for fraud, even when there's no indication of it. They wanna require an interview on every single case. It's all designed to slow down legal immigration to the United States. And that is ultimately what they're after. They want to make America white again. They don't want people coming here from non-European countries. They think that the diversity visa went too far, that chain migration went too far. They don't wanna just stop people at the border. They wanna stop everybody from getting immigration benefits. It's really crazy given the fact that we have baby boomers aging out and leaving the workforce. We're going to need people here in the United States. And of course, that's not the only benefit that immigrants bring, but it's a big one. We want to be able to have employers uh, be able to staff their companies with the employees that they need. And if Donald Trump's draconian laws and approaches to immigration either purposely kick people out of the United States or scare people from coming to the United States, it's gonna have a really bad effect on our economy and it's gonna have a really bad effect on the overall immigration process. So you'll see that there'll be a lot of changes made to our immigration policies, but it'll all be designed to slow down immigration to the United States, not speed things up. So if you're thinking about applying for an immigration benefit, you should do it before January 20th if you're eligible and if you can. You wanna be under whatever old rules there are when he comes into office. After that, nobody knows what's gonna happen. We, we don't know what they're gonna do with the laws or the regulations, we just know based on experience, that they're gonna make it a whole lot tougher to get a quick decision on your case. If you're thinking about a filing and you need our help as your immigration lawyers, give us a call, 314-961-8200. Email us, info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. You can also find us on Facebook in our Immigrant Home Facebook group. We have almost 14,000 immigrants and people who care about them in that group talking about the immigration process every day. I try to pop in there when I can. We also have our YouTube channel. You should subscribe to that whenever we go live. You'll be one of the first ones to know and you'll get an alert whenever we go live if you click on the subscribe button. If you wanna get in the waiting room to ask me a question when I go live, you can 
text the word SHOW, S-H-O-W, to 314-470-3300. Finally, if you're not following us on TikTok, at Immigration Hacking. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.